Zoe. And my name is Naomi. And we're going to be showing you how to assemble your very own DIY microscope. So the first thing you need to do before you can start to put the pieces on the rail is you need to find the focal lengths of each of your lenses. So the way you can do that, you just need a lens and your tape measure or ruler and then go to a flat white surface like this wall right here and move the lens towards and away from the surface until you form a sharp image on the surface and then measure the distance from the lens to the wall. The first component of your DIY microscope is the light source. To mount the light source you have to put in the face into the rail and then screw on the light source. Make sure you don't screw everything on too tight at first because you're going to be moving things around. Next comes the diffuser which scatters the light evenly. After you've got your light mounted, you're going to put on the collector lens followed by the condenser lens and these are going to be forming our first infinite conjugate system. That basically means that these lenses are going to collect the light and direct it onto the sample. So you put the collector lens on first, making sure that the curved side is facing towards your light so we can bend the light as much as possible. You want to put it on at about the focal length. So this is going to be around seven centimeters. We measured it before. We need to make sure that it's actually at the focal length. So Naomi's going to remove the diffuser. And we're going to be moving this back and forth so I have to make sure it's not too tight so that it can slide along the rail. Now take a blank piece of paper, it doesn't have to be anything special, and we're going to put this, we're going to try to put this so that we can't form an image of our light. And so we can still form an image there. That's perfect. Now you want to tighten this down so it doesn't move anymore. Next comes the condenser lens. This one will be placed with the curve facing away from the light. And this should be at around the sum of the focal lengths of the collector and condenser lens. Now for this one, we want to try to form an image on the sheet of paper. The next part of the microscope is the sample holder. It goes at the focal length of the condenser lens. After that comes the objective. This has a very fine focal length, so it has a smaller screw to adjust it, as well as the ability to slide on the rail. To verify that the objective lens is in the exact place, you take a piece of paper and turn on the light. And you try to figure out the focus by placing the paper at about the focal length of the objective. So once you form an image of the light, you know that your objective is in place. After the objective comes the tube lens. This is going to act like the magnifying glass of our microscope. The interesting thing is you can put this anywhere you want on the rail. This is actually a finished microscope if you want to look at a sample with a screen. So then if that's all you want to do, then you can put in a holder for the screen. So you would put the screen here and you'd be able to look at an image of your sample. Now if you want to be able to look at the image with your eye, you need the eyepiece. Since your eye has a lens, you need another lens to focus it. Now you want to be putting this so that the curved side is away from your eye. Once you have the eyepiece in place, you can look through the microscope, but make sure that you turn the light down before you do, because you don't want to blind yourself. This LED is very bright.
If you want to be able to take a picture with your phone, you need the positioner. And any phone camera will work with this microscope. And then you'll be able to see your sample. Now you have your finished DIY microscope.